Hey friends, welcome back again to my channel. I am Victoria, a local real estate professional in North and South Carolina. Before we even get started with today's video, please take a second and hit that red subscribe and also hit that thumbs up so more people can learn about this channel with ease. Today, I am in Hampton, Georgia, which is southeast of Atlanta. I am visiting a gated community built by DR Horton called Gates at Pates Creek. The model home we're gonna be previewing viewing today is called the Jean Lee. The Jean Lee is a five bedroom home with a four bath, three car garage, and it boasts with endless, endless options. The starting price in this community will be in that mid 400,000s, ranging all the way up to five currently. But please keep in mind that prices are always subject to change. So if you would like more accurate pricing, please reach out to us and we would be more than happy to assist you. Okay, let's check out this home together. As we walk in, we are greeted with a soaring, double-heighted great room here, featuring a nice catwalk. And I'm just going to move our attention over here to these decorative columns, which adds a very bold character to a home. And we're gonna move over here to our dining room area. And I want to point our attention to the coffered ceiling up above. Everything you see here is an option in this home. So this community is actually selling all spec homes or inventory homes, but a lot of the packages, you know, do include these features as you see here, including the crown moldings and trims all throughout the home here. Let's walk down this hallway. And now I'm gonna take you guys over to the heart of the home, also known as the kitchen. As you can see here within the kitchen, I really, really like the, um, you, you get a lot of countertop space here. So that's very nice to me, including this double door pantry. And guys, this feature of the pot filler here right over the stove, that is an option that can be done in this community. And this, this home actually features a nice breakfast nook right over here. It's very intimate. And then we're gonna move over here to the second great room here in this home. So this great room is a little bit different than the one we saw up front. The one we saw up front was the two-story four-year style, but this one here is a little bit more intimate and it has that centralized gas fireplace as we can see there. And one thing I like about this um, floor plan too, it has a, a guest suite on the first floor here. So this is our guest suite down here. So typically whenever you have a guest suite on the main, you will always have a full, um, a full bathroom right next to it or more of an ensuite. But as this is a model home, the bathroom has been converted, you know, for model home purposes. So we will not be showcasing that today, but you can use your imagination as to what would come with the guest suite bath. Okay, before we go upstairs, I really want you guys to take a look at this outdoor space here. The covered patio here that we see is pretty standard in this home. Unfortunately, the builder will not screen it in for you um, just because due to all the delays and everything going on, but you can always choose to screen in this area as you so desire. Okay, let's go upstairs and check out the upstairs together. As we come up, we are greeted by this nice and spacious loft area here, overlooking that two-story great room that we saw downstairs. And we're gonna go over here 
I really like this little intimate touch of the sitting area here. This house, um, one thing I really love about this floor plan, it is spacious and there's a lot of areas to, you know, just lounge and relax and unwind. Let's go over here and check out our first bedroom upstairs. So this first bedroom here boasts of its own private ensuite bath. You remember this home has four bathrooms. So this bedroom here would have its own ensuite bath. So this is another great option for a guest. And then let's take a look at this closet space here. Decent sized closet space. All right, let's go check out the other rooms. There's a room right across the hall here. We're gonna check out. So this room here does not have its own ensuite. That will be the only bedroom up here that has its own ensuite bath. And we see the nice size closet space here. And as we come back out into the hallway, we are greeted by our main hallway bathroom here. And this appears to be um, quartz countertop, but you know, if you catch the construction process of this, um, of any home in this community early on, you can most definitely change the countertops and even parts of the flooring. But that's only if you can catch it at a specific time before the construction passes a certain, a certain level. This is our third bedroom up here that we're seeing together with its own nice closet. Okay, so last but not least, let's go check out the owner or the primary bedroom in this home. I really, I really like the grand two um, double door entrance here in this, in this bedroom. And a very nice feature of mine is the crown molding tray ceiling that we see up. And also the decorative columns here and this nice lounge or sitting area up here. This is a perfect place to just kind of unwind and just relax while enjoying the fireplace. Let's go over here and check out the bathroom. Before we get to the bathroom, we have closets on either side of this wall here. So it can be um, a spouse and spouse closet. So here is the first closet here. The closets are not the biggest closets we've seen on this channel, but they're still very good sized closets here. Also part of that grand and luxurious field, we have our double door entrance here to the bathroom. And one, one favorite feature of mine, as you probably already know, is the separated double vanity sinks here. And then we have our private water closet here. And I really like um, the shower and bath combo here as we see. Let's check out this linen closet here. There you go. There you have it guys. Thank you so much for taking a tour of this beautiful floor plan with me. Remember we are located in Hampton, Georgia today, which is Southeast of Atlanta. So let me know in the comment section as usual, what you thought about this floor plan. What do you think about Georgia? Have you ever been to Georgia? Have you ever considered moving to Georgia? Let me know all that in the comment section. As always, please make sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up so more people can learn about this channel with ease. Okay friends, I'll see you in the next video.